When Lucy Heng, age 74, donated one of her kidneys to her husband, Tan Hock Seng, age 72, they became the oldest living donor and recipient spouses in Singapore. He was diagnosed with end-stage kidney failure due to diabetes in 2010 and was advised to undergo a kidney transplant or dialysis. One day when I was in the office after lunch, I felt very tired. But next day, we come to the same thing. After lunch, I feel tired. I need to have a sleep. So I think that there must be something wrong. So I went to the Pony Clinic for a medical checkup. The doctor, he told me that there's something wrong with the kidney. I got a big shot that nearly the day come, I have to go for dialysis. I have seen so many people have dialysis suffering for it. It takes about three to four hours a day. So I refused to have go for dialysis. I met Professor Vasala. Then she found out that my kidney was only 20% in function. He said that is very dangerous. If it go below 20, you may cost your life. So that's the only way you can do is only you go for kidney transplant. I say, I'm too old. I'm at the age of 70. She told me that age doesn't count. My wife and my son was there too. So my son immediately proposed why don't you try mine? So Pro said, you are still young. You get two children, they are very young. No doubt, transplant there is very minus the risk, but there is still a risk. So immediately, my wife heard that. Why don't you try mine? So Pro said, why not? I said, no. She's too old, I'm old too. So she said, each doesn't count. Her kidney is suitable for me. She has two healthy kidneys, I'm so lucky. So she arranged a day for us to do the transplant. When problems arose with his kidneys in 2010, Mr. Tan Hock Seng was referred to Professor A. Vath Sala who heads the Division of Nephrology and the Adult Renal Transplantation Program at the National University Hospital in Singapore. What Mr. Tan would be facing would be years of dialysis. However, in view of his age, he would not do so well as a younger person on dialysis. And moreover, his life expectancy would have been reduced significantly, even though he would have been on dialysis. Mr. Tan Hock Seng was presented with two options, dialysis or a transplant. He did not want to spend his life hooked up to a machine three times a week and was worried by the fact he was already 70. If I don't give him, who is going to give him? Is it the son is too young? I told my son, uh, I give, mommy give to your daddy. I don't know what I say. I'm not afraid for operation because I myself, my two kids are operation. That means I opened three times for my kidney and for my two kids. Both Mr. Tan and his wife Lucy did very well after the surgery. Uh, firstly, the donor, his wife Lucy, was 72 years old at the time she donated her kidney to her husband. And of course, her being older meant that she was at greater risk. Um, having said that, we had checked her out very well prior to the surgery and she did extremely well with no post-operative complications and now years later after the donation she continues to do well so I would say she had an extremely successful surgery. Likewise Mr. Tan he also needed a thorough workup for his transplantation surgery he also did extremely well and now years later 
is doing very very well I also so I would say both surgeries were extremely successful one of my messages for patients with organ failure is to seek the support of their family members when there are family members who are willing to donate and they are healthy and they have been screened appropriately then it is a safe procedure and it benefits both the donor and the recipient and it's the right and the most natural thing to do. Family love is larger than everything and after the transplant both of us get well we can do anything we like. I can send my grandchildren to school and bring them home from school. This one thing I feel proud of is a kidney transplant, is an organ transplant department in the NUH. I'd like to thank them. Despite his wife's age, Mr. Tan decided to go ahead and the operation was carried out on April 18th, 2011.